Yeah, what up players? Welcome back to For Ghost Entertainment. It's your boy Reloads back with another Unity 3D tutorial. Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to swap to a different color than back to the primary color using a key press for a single game object inside of Unity 3D. So if you guys will notice, I have a cube game object inside of my scene labeled as player that just has the red color material on top of it. And if I go ahead and I press up on the up arrow, you guys will notice that my cube will actually swap over to the color green. And if I press up again, my cube will actually go back to the primary color red. If I press down, my cube will swap over to the color blue. If I press it again, it will go back to red. And if I press the left arrow, then it will actually swap over to a cyan color. If I press it again, it will actually go back to red. And if I go ahead and press on the right arrow, it will actually swap over to the color yellow. And then if I press it again, it will actually go back to red. Now, this is super easy to do. So what you guys want to do is I have a script labeled single cube color change and if we go ahead and look at the script basically what you guys are going to be looking at when i open up the script as you guys would notice inside of the script the first thing we're actually going to be getting access to is the renderer which is renderer your renderer which is what i have it labeled as inside of the script and then we're actually going to be writing bool red equals true now if you don't know what a bool variable is it's basically just something that determines if something is either true or false and then inside of void start we have your renderer equals game object dot get component renderer this is just getting access to the renderer component listed on our game object and then we also have your renderer dot material dot color equals color dot red this is basically going to be setting the primary color of our game object to the color red and then inside of void update we have if input dot get key down parenthesis key code dot up arrow you guys can put that to whatever you want all you guys want to do if you want to change it to not be the up there you just have to put it to like the a key or whatever you guys want it's just super easy super simple to do that and then once we go ahead and we do that the next thing we're actually going to be saying inside of this logic and when it comes to this if statement we're going to be saying red equals not red basically this is going to flip the boolean variable to the opposite of what it is and then we're going to say if true use the color red so it'll be if parenthesis red and then we're going to actually do um, our curly brackets and we're going to be writing your renderer dot material dot color equals color red. If the uh, bull variable is going to be set to false, we're going to be using the color green. So we're going to be writing an else statement because this is going to be determining if something is not true or it's going to be something else. So we're going to be saying your renderer dot color dot your renderer dot material dot color equals color dot green. That's just going to be the, the color that the. Our cube is actually going to be swapping to if it's not going to be the color red when we press down on the up arrow key. Now, if you guys actually want to swap over it and use different arrow keys or use it to a different color, you're just going to go ahead and just copy the same code. But the only thing you're going to be changing is you're going to be going down to your if statement line and where it says your renderer dot material dot color equals color dot red basically or dot green whatever just going to be changed to whatever color you want i have it set to blue for the down arrow and then you guys can see that i have it set to cyan for the left arrow and i have it set to yellow for the right arrow if i'm not mistaken i'm just going to have to type this in so this code is like super easy to do so if you guys found this tutorial very useful what i'm going to be doing i'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to actually swap to different color cubes inside of unity 3d so that's basically going to be like cube multiple cubes that have like different colors on them let's say for example you guys can see that i have a red blue green orange purple cube this is going to be something that's a lot easier if you guys want to use like tags or something so i'll be explaining that in the next tutorial that i make for you guys so if you guys found this tutorial very useful be sure to smash that subscribe button also turn on all your notifications don't forget to share the video on social media using the hashtags for ghost entertainment and if you guys have any questions or anything leave them down below in the comment section i will definitely read the comments and help you guys out and i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'm gonna see you guys 